Have you ever wondered what we will be eating in 2050? As our world's population continues to burgeon, with the United Nations predicting a leap to 10 billion by the mid-century, we face an imposing question. How will we feed everyone sustainably and efficiently? Our current food production systems strain under the weight of this immense responsibility. The land, water and energy resources required are immense and the environmental impact is profound. However, this pressing issue is not without its silver linings. The challenges we face today are the catalysts for tomorrow's innovation. From the labs brewing cultivated meat to the farms raising high-protein insects, from the oceans teeming with nutrient-packed algae and seaweed to the fields cultivating allergen-free nuts, our food landscape is evolving. And it's not just about new foods, it's about new ways of growing, harvesting and distributing them, ensuring everyone has access to nutritious meals. It is within these challenges that we find opportunities for innovation in food production. Uh, think of a world where we can enjoy meat without the ethical and environmental concerns of livestock farming. This might sound like a dream, but it's closer to reality than you might think thanks to the advancement of cultured meat technology. Cultivated meat, also known as lab-grown meat, is produced by cultivating animal cells in a controlled environment. This innovative approach could revolutionize the way we produce and consume meat, offering a promising solution to the ethical and environmental issues associated with traditional livestock farming. But it's not just about the environmental footprint. Cultivated meat could potentially mimic the taste, texture and nutritional profile of traditional meat, making it a viable alternative for meat lovers. Imagine biting into a juicy steak or a crispy chicken wing, knowing that no animals were harmed in the process. Moreover, the production of cultivated meat could significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions, water usage and land degradation. These environmental benefits could contribute to a more sustainable food system, aligning with global efforts to combat climate change and preserve our planet for future generations. But, of course, the success of cultivated meat will largely depend on consumer acceptance. Will people be willing to swap their traditional steaks for lab-grown alternatives? Only time will tell. Cultivated meat could be a game-changer for ethical and sustainable food production. As we move towards 2050, the embrace of such innovative food sources could lead to a more sustainable, equitable and nutritious food landscape. Insects are protein source that is both sustainable and nutrient dense. A statement that may seem startling yet is gaining traction as we strive for sustainable ways to feed the world's burgeoning population. Insects with their high protein content and minimal environmental footprint are stepping into the spotlight as a potential hero in our food narrative. Let's consider the humble cricket. Packed with essential amino acids, vitamins and minerals, these tiny creatures are a powerhouse of nutrition. What's more, farming them requires a fraction of the water, land and feed compared to traditional livestock. In terms of greenhouse gas emissions, the difference is staggering. In many cultures, insects are already a staple, a delicacy even, but for others, the ick factor is a hurdle. However, as we grapple with the need for sustainable, efficient and nutrient-dense foods, Insects are increasingly finding their way into our diets, be it in the form of protein bars, pasta, or even flour. Insects could be a viable solution to meet the protein needs of a growing population. Imagine a future where algae and seaweed form a significant part of our diet. Intriguing, isn't it? These humble marine plants, often overlooked, hold a vast potential in the realm of sustainable food sources. To begin with, the cultivation of algae and seaweed is quite a marvel. They're not only nutrient-rich, but they also have a knack for growing at a startling pace. This rapid growth rate, combined with their ability to thrive in diverse environments, makes them a promising candidate for efficient food production. Now, let's talk about their environmental impact, or rather the lack thereof. Both algae and seaweed require minimal resources to flourish. They don't need arable land or fresh water, two resources that are becoming increasingly scarce in our world. In fact, they're quite the environmental superheroes, absorbing carbon dioxide and in turn, helping to mitigate the effects of climate change. But the benefits don't stop there. From a nutritional standpoint, these marine plants are powerhouses. They're packed with protein, fiber, and a host of essential vitamins and minerals. And the taste? It's unique, adding a savory umami flavor to dishes, making the culinary possibilities virtually endless. 
In a world where traditional agriculture is facing mounting challenges due to climate change and a growing population, the cultivation of algae and seaweed could offer a viable solution. Algae and seaweed could play a key role in addressing food security challenges. As we look to the future, these marine plants may well become a staple in our diets, helping to shape a sustainable and nutritious food landscape. Allergen-free nuts provide a solution for those with dietary restrictions. Now, let's delve into the world of these dietary game changers. A shining example is the humble tiger nut. Despite its name, it's not actually a nut, but a tuber, which allows those with nut allergies to enjoy its benefits worry-free. Originating from Africa, tiger nuts are now gaining global popularity due to their high nutritional value and their sweet, nutty flavor makes them a delightful addition to a variety of dishes. These allergen-free alternatives aren't just a boon for those with allergies. They're also contributing to a more adaptable and resilient food system. By fostering diversity in our diets, we're not only catering to individual dietary needs, but also building a food system that can withstand shocks and changes. As we move towards 2050, these innovative food sources will play a key role in shaping a sustainable and inclusive food landscape. Innovative food sources like allergen-free nuts cater to diverse dietary needs and preferences. As we move towards 2050, the food landscape is set to change dramatically. The transition towards more sustainable and diverse food sources is already underway. Think plant-based proteins, pseudo-cereals and even novel agricultural practices like vertical farming. These alternatives are not just about changing what's on our plates, but reshaping the entire food production system. Technological advancements are propelling this shift, making it possible to produce food in ways we could hardly imagine a few decades ago. Meanwhile, our growing environmental awareness is driving demand for more sustainable options. We're becoming more conscious of our food's journey from farm to fork and the impact it has on our planet. But it's not just about sustainability. Changing dietary preferences are also playing a part. As we become more adventurous in our eating habits, we're embracing a wider range of foods, from ancient grains to lab-grown meat. With innovative food sources and production methods, we could be looking at a more sustainable, equitable and nutritious food landscape by 2050. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into our future.